What's up? So, episode three. Today it's uh, May 10th. It's Thursday, so I am now less than two weeks away from doing my CDF surgery. So, yesterday, as an update, I actually went and got a cervical collar. So, it is a rigid one. I actually got it right here. Um, so if you want to Emory Orthopedic and Spine, it might prescribe to you to go to Hanger Clinic. Right there. Oh, doesn't really come up. Anyways, so Hanger Clinic. So we got a cervical collar. It is a rigid esque one. It is a little soft, but it's also very much rigid. I think one thing I'm going to do coming up is actually um, wear this while driving uh, not and just to get a feel for it and see what that's like uh, you know before I actually go through the whole surgery um, so it's pretty simple looks like that the brand is Aspen product is Vista so you can adjust it via these straps right here. There's two of them. So this is actually the back. And you'll see that this, uh, the longer part, as well as the curved, is actually this is up, this is down. And then on the front, you have this. So it's really where your throat is. And you can also press this guy, or actually pull out this little guy right here and adjust it. So it actually adjusts this whole device so there's actually two pieces to this so as you can see it goes like this and then you can actually change the, uh, the height so see what that's like and there are many different uh, heights so if you see right there you see the, the little holes um, those all correspond to just different heights so it goes from one to six and <clears throat> what I've what the hanger clinic guys did was actually put a couple dots uh, for where I should actually be keeping this. If you can see, you got the red dot, and then that was interesting. And then go down. You see that there's a uh, a single dot right there. So, anyways, um, the two dot is what they've said to basically keep it at on most of the time and then the one dot for when I'm eating so just giving myself a little bit of room to really adjust so um, let me put it on and show you a little bit of it so we've mostly already adjusted it so it should fit so I'm just going to start with really just one side and it's on the third um, third setting here where the two dots are so this should be the normal route so There. So that's how it looks. And then of course I might actually need to tighten it a little bit. There you go. So I'm gonna tell you right now, I can go back a little bit, so I might actually have to tighten it up again, but I'll just do this side. Um go back a little bit, but can't really go down don't really go to the left or right either so that's what it is right now and I believe if I let's see if I twist I gotta pull out and then twist Ooh, now I'm actually extending it so I need to go the other way so there should be a little notch once I get to it oh, there it is so you can see that it's giving me a little bit of space right there. Um, but that's this is essentially what they said if I'm eating. So let me just go ahead and move this back to normal so I can feel it actually really pulling me up. Bounce back in. A little bit less. So, like I said, I probably have to tighten this a little bit more. Uh, don't really feel like it right now, but I'll try it. Since I'm already here. 
All right, so that's kind of what it is. Um, let's see. I mean, it doesn't really feel any, I mean, obviously you're going to feel this. I mean, I feel this. And it's going to be quite a nuisance, especially if I try driving. Um, the other thing I could tell you right now as I leave it on a little bit longer is that it is warm. I mean, this is foam, soft foam right here. Um, in the back, because it's all foam. And, yeah, so... It'll be interesting, right? So uh, living in Atlanta in the summer, it's going to be 90s. It's probably going to feel like it's 100, especially with the humidity. So I'm already a very warm person, so this is just going to be very uncomfortable, let alone I'm already uncomfortable from surgery. So anyways, just more things to not be so thrilled about. Um, six weeks of this so you know again it's one of those things like is this worth it hopefully so i'll be able to get back to playing shape all right i gotta take this thing off it's annoying me uh, oh yeah oh um anyways uh not excited but it is what it is uh, I did work out this morning. Uh, it's typically my my heavier leg day and medium back. Uh, the pull exercises. I didn't do too much. I went actually uh, very light for the most part. Um, did some leg presses and some lunges, light on some lat pull downs and the like. So nothing too crazy, but I definitely felt. Um, been feeling my whole neck and upper back area for the last several days. It's been uncomfortable and it reminds me every day why I'm going through this procedure is to really eliminate and hopefully get rid of all this pain. Right? So, collar. Wearing this for six weeks. I also, just as an FYI, so these do, these uh, foam pads do come off the plastic uh, shell casing. And so I should be able to wash this. Uh, just they told me, do not put this into the dryer, which makes a lot of sense. Anyways, so that's what it is. Uh, again, I am now 13 days out from surgery. Um, I just order a tape measure, so I will be measuring all sorts of stuff like arms, chest, quads, calves, um, waist, uh, and, and the like, just and forearms, just to you know be cognizant of where I am from a, a weight and muscle perspective. Uh, I weighed myself today and was about buck sixty six. So that'll be interesting. Uh, the other thing actually that I just remembered is I am going on a vacation to the beach for a friend's wedding at the end of July. So that'll be about eight, nine weeks out from surgery. Um, actually, maybe even a little bit longer than that. And what I realized though is that I probably will still not be able to do any activities other than walking so I mean I don't take very many vacations and uh, to have this one vacation that I've kind of booked and it's gonna be really great it's a great destination uh, St. Kitts and I can't even do snorkeling or I don't know ride on a horse on a beach whatever people do on beaches on vacations so that's unfortunate, but you know, if I was to even be out there anyways without doing the surgery and then try to postpone the surgery, let's face it, it I probably wouldn't be able to do too much anyways because it would be painful. So it's one thing to think about. And of course, I won't be able to lift my bags or anything, so I'll have to rely on my uh, my girlfriend to, to do it. I'm actually probably going to wear... 
this, this cervical collar, uh, just because I'm sure a lot of people are going to be wondering, wow, he's not doing anything. His girlfriend's actually carrying everything. So um, don't want it to be okay for others to think that they can treat others like that. Um, so maybe give myself an excuse and make sure everyone else also realizes that. So anyways, episode three, cervical collar achieved or obtained, acquired. And yeah, hopefully one of the next ones I'll have the tape measure in and I can start kind of recording some of that and sharing with you how things develop from there. So thanks a lot and drop me a note, ask me any questions. Thanks.